go back to Allie Bauman. She's uptown in Manhattan. Last we saw her on 125th Street in Harlem, where it looked like a river had broken out there as well. What do you have now, Allie? That's right, Maurice, Christine, we're still at this intersection here where uh, six cars at this point, at least that we've counted, are stuck here. Um, a tow truck has just arrived a short time ago to try to get one of the cars out here. But I'll tell you, there, there are cars that are still trying to drive through this intersection, this, this absolute mess of an intersection, 125th in Amsterdam. And the more they, they drive through, the more it really just spreads the water around. And you'll see it's not just this one intersection, this block. It goes all the way across 125th here where we are and it's seeping over to the um, all the the uh, city bike stands that are around here, the park that's around here. I mean, we've we've seen people trying to push their their parallel parked cars out of this intersection. You know, you see just bags of trash, as, as we've all been talking about, bags of trash just floating through this this gross water that's in this intersection here. And I'll tell you, we've been we've been driving around the city, you know, all night pretty much. And it's it's weather and it's driving conditions that I've never experienced before. Of almost you know, uh, so hard to see. And we're we're in mobile too. It's a it's a big truck. Here. That we're in, and, and it was so hard to see earlier in the night of just how heavy the rain was coming down and how uh, strong the wind was. We had we saw flooding on the FDR. We saw flooding all over the West Side, 10th Avenue, leading towards um, the Hudson River on the West Side. There, just dangerous conditions, and especially we saw a lot of those um, outdoor dining structures totally getting soaked. I mean, not that anyone was sitting out there eating, but there, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw things, you know, just just collapsing those outdoor dining structures because they were completely flooded. Um, it's, it's, it's dangerous conditions here. And again, if you want to come back here live to where we are in Harlem, you know, as I've been saying, the, the water is just accumulating and spreading. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but like when a truck once in a while drives through, it's like actual waves that are coming and just spreading. And, you know, people are trying to drive through it, which again is not safe. People are trying to walk through it, which of course, again, is not safe. And we've seen uh, several times people trying to walk through it slip because, you know, you just can't see how deep the water is here. You can't see how deep you're going and it's just not a safe idea. I mean, we're certainly not driving through it. We're stopping right here. We're going to turn around and, and head to a different angle of it. So stay safe. Don't don't be on the rides, roads if you don't have to because certainly anywhere you go is, is dangerous. For now, we're live in Harlem. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Allie, I heard one hopeful note in there. You sounded like the rain is sort of tapering or tamping down. Is that is that fair to say? Yes, I would say uh, maybe around like 9, 10. That's when, at least where we were on the west side, it was, you know, the strongest where, like, literally at times impossible to see. I'm going to back up because the uh, fire truck has finally arrived here where we are. Um, you know, people have been calling for the fire truck and the, and the police department, which I'm, I'm sure they're all overwhelmed at this point. But, yes, we have a fire truck coming in now. And, again, we spoke to um, the taxi driver who was stuck in this taxi that's in here. And, and you know, he had to, to walk out because his taxi is... The inside of it is, you know, completely flooded as well, and he couldn't drive it out of here. And he's okay. Thankfully, the, the tow truck, he said, is, is going to be, you know, helping him get the, the taxi out, and, and hopefully all these folks are going to be getting out here soon. And now the fire truck is here. It's, it's definitely a, a good sign, but... You know, it's, it's nothing you want to drive through. Okay. Ali Bauman there at 125th in Amsterdam. That's just like 10 blocks down the hill from Columbia University, just uh, from some, for some context. Really unbelievable.